A very good morning. You're watching Morning Mantra on ET Now, and I'm Chetty Narula. Everything. So when the economy is doing well, the financial stocks are doing well. Thank you so much, Darshan, for that Asian market check. In fact, let's shift focus now to the U.S. markets. The first quarter GDP growth in the U.S. was below government estimates, but the volatile equity market on Wall Street was not bogged down yesterday. China's commitment to stay invested in Europe has eased concerns that Europe's debt worries would spiral into a larger financial crisis. Reuters' Alison Kosick reports. The market swings continued, but this time to the upside. But you do worry that there's going to be a hand grenade tossed into the world from, from Europe. And so that's really where I see a lot of the volatility. Well, Alan, the global markets, including the Asian markets, have reacted positively to China's decision. Now, do you think this is the much-needed trigger that the markets were looking for and this would sort of provide some sort of direction to the Asian indices considering they're even trading in the green right now? Well, you, the short answer to that is yes. And my, my re and I'm not an equity market analyst, but my sort of reaction to what we've seen in the last couple of weeks is that the uh, you've got back into a period where people are just scared. And so fear is raining again. And if I'm looking... Mutut Finance. Mutut Finance. A Mutut and George Enterprise. Welcome back. You're still with us on Business Friday on to Corporate News and the Singh Polo joins in to take on the Singh Brothers. Welcome back. You're still with us on Business Friday. A quick check on all the market action. And yes, and Nirmal Jain is bearish on telecom and Nitin Rakesh is bullish on banks but says one should avoid the metals in the commodities space. The problem is in the markets, Tata Motors up about 4.5%, oil and gas sectors as well as real estate and metals also did see a bit of a rebound. So that's the markets for you. And all right, as usual, we've got Mega Memoria, Abhishek Vishnoi, Ritu Jind Jindal and Gargi Parikh, our research analyst standing by. Mega, to you first, which stock are you talking about today? Well, Chetty, I have Megasoft Limited on my radar. Another few sessions. And Ritu, you're talking about Divan Housing Finance. In fact, yesterday you were the one who broke the story first on ET Now. What do you have in store for us today and how's this counter going to be doing in trade today? Thanks, Jyoti. Yes, ET Now reported first that uh, Divan Housing Finance QIP has, has, had been launched yesterday late night. All right, Mega, you're talking about Jesswell's Neko Industries. The stock is almost making a sort of a debut on Chartbusters. What are the kind of triggers you're witnessing on this counter? In the chat, the stock has been doing well. In fact, it was up about 3% in trade yesterday. And of course, Ritu, you're looking at IFCI. What kind of triggers are you witnessing on this counter? How do you think the stock is going to pan out? And how are analysts also viewing this counter? Well, you know, Chetty, traders have been quite upbeat on this. All right, Mehran, you're talking about Indorama Synthetics. Of course, we saw the net profit decline by about 77% in trade yesterday. And even yesterday, the, uh, the stock uh, ended up about 7% in trade. So what do you think the stock will, how do you think it will pan out today in trade? Well, Chetty, indeed, the stock uh, gained uh, about 6.5% 6, 6 yesterday. All right, Ritu, and you're talking about IPCA Lab, some sort of fresh triggers right there, USFD approval for its uh, special economic zone, and Bank of America Merrill Lynch also seems to be bullish on this one. That's right, uh, Chetty, Bank of America Merrill Lynch has come out with this uh, uh, stock pick for the, from uh, that brokerage house, essentially. All right, hang in there. We'll take a quick break. More stocks coming up on the other side. We'll also leave you with a view from Akshita Deshmukh, Senior Analyst at Nepal Broking on KN India. The stock has well thanks Abhishek for that quick update. Let's move back to Chartbusters now. Mega Memoria is standing by with news on Chemrock. Of course, Mega uh, Midcap seems to be your favorite space today. How are analysts viewing Chemrock today? Well, Chemrock, a new 